Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So I am recording this this uh, episode after the just did the last one. Now we did sell that 75 ton Hell uh, Hell Hell whatever it was, the 75 ton mech for a million at the end of the last episode. So we're 1.1 million right now uh, as in our cost here. Um, if we have a look, quick look at the mech base. Uh, everything is back up and running. We did take a CT hit on the Hollander, which we had to fix up. So that's all done. Uh, I did, was not. I forgot to put in the new Artemis IV system in the Apollo. So we're uh, we're down right that with that right now. Um, but we'll do that after the end of this next mission, or probably between episodes or whatever. I'll get that Artemis IV system in with the ammo, uh, which is definitely going to help. So we do have a mission we want to take today. Um, but first, let's have a quick look at the barracks and see how we're doing here. Uh, so Dallas, we got 10,000 XP now. So let's bring our gunnery up. That's one thing we're looking to do. Uh, the 10% range increase is going to definitely help. Duck, we're leaving. Uh, Goofy, we're still waiting for gunnery. Uh, Gundal, um, we're still waiting. Going to go probably piloting for the eva extra evasion. We're waiting for gunnery on her as well. We're still running into this issue here. I have no idea what the heck is going on. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I can't even fathom an understanding of what the hell this is. So um, <laughs> I'm refusing to spend points on her right now. Uh, and then we don't have anything here for Infiltrator to take. So let's go to the, the uh, command center right away. Greetings, Commander. Come on in. Thanks. We've got a three skull protect the mechs. Um, now I didn't realize when I was saying, "Hey, we should take this a lot." Last time was you know protect the mechs. It's you know probably good payout and all that stuff. And I'm like re-looking at this between episodes, and I was like, three skull. You know, I know they're going to be coming in waves, but the our ability, like if they're if they end up being you know, a couple of heavy mechs and a couple of medium mechs per, per wave. I don't think we've got the firepower to be able to pull this one off. Um, last mech standing is probably more along our speed. Um, two and a half skulls and hold the line. This would generally be really, really simple uh, and net us some good coin and uh, some good salvage. But in order to f for fighting and stuff, I want to get right into this one. We could probably pull this one off pretty quickly. Uh, hopefully. Uh, it's a battle in the Tundra, which is good, and then this one here is in the Tundra as well. This should go relatively fast, I'm hoping. Pull this one off, then we'll go st straight to hold the line, pull that one off, and then um, we should be good for the end of the month. So let's go here, negotiate. I'm going to go full salvage, because we want full salvage, obviously. And let's bring in Hellion again. And let's do this. All right, here we go. Stand up, fight. All right, we know this map. The sooner we get off this iceberg, the better. You kidding, man? Uh. Oh, I see. Um. Yeah, let's get down in here. Got a little bit of a hill to protect us, till we can get into those trees. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. What can I do, you fool? Now we got one mech down here, and then we got one, two, and three up here. If there's reinforcements, they come from behind the hill. Let's get back here. So I'm thinking about. Um, I did a little bit of a look at this guy here. Um, the Apollo. Figure out what we're going to do. Most likely I'm going to pull off the uh, LRM-5. Um, pull out the Swarm and the regular ammo. So we're going to go with uh, one ton of dead fire, two, two, ton of, two tons of Artemis ammo, uh, and maybe one ton of regular ammo. Not 100% sure yet. Oh, there's no supporting guys here. Nice. Um, So yeah, that's kind of the plan, I think. And then with 
with the uh, the other the LRM5 gone, we can most likely fit in a um, an ER medium laser. Clan ER medium laser is a backup weapon. Still nothing, eh? Oh, we got sensors on now. Gladiator? Thunderbolt? We got gladiator parts, eh? Well, let's go right out on this guy, see if we can take him up fast. We'd be lucky if we hit, apparently. Same thing, please. Gladiator. Target is the gladiator. That was better. We got a solid red line here anywhere? Oh, we can't over here. But we're up in the open. Let's do it. I'm okay with that. Oof. Yeah. There's a chopper. Oh, it's going to be a barrage, I bet you. Somebody else down here, I know there is. Come on guys, what are you doing? What are you doing? Damage minimal. Reporting minimal damage. Get that rack up here. I didn't mean that in a lewd way either. You know what I mean. Get the rotary auto cannon five up here. I'm it. Yes, I am. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Fifty-one percent, eh? Ooh, with all of them too, eh? Let's do this. All right, that's okay, I guess. I think we only hit twice. Would have preferred three, but we'll take the two hits. All right, Goofy, that chopper's all yours. It's difficult to hit with the speed it's got, so hopefully you can pull it down quickly. Get it out of the battle. We be, should be able to see if there's somebody else down here. Okay, it's fire maneuver. Oh, he's been hitting the head already. I thought I saw a head hit. Should we try and pinpoint his head? Come on, really? Really? There we go. Are you kidding me? Well, let me target its head. Zero percent chance on his head. Are you serious? Ah, uh, just fire on him then. Wow, one. <laughs> Well, good thing I didn't waste resolve on that. Yes, Commander. 
All right, Lilu Dellis multi pass. See if you can headshot him again. Well, it certainly did better than I did. How far can you get over here? Okay, you can go to the trees. That's good. Certainly. Oh, shit. Goblin. See if we can finish this guy up. Yeah, it looked like he had a tag on there. Fire and maneuver, baby. Fire and maneuver. Wow. Yeah, we need the Artemis 4 on here badly. Whole seven points of damage, huh? Let's move, let's move closer so the Thunderbolt can't shoot at us. Okay, he's running. Right here. Mm -hmm. Fire maneuver, I think. We're jammed. So, if we're jammed... Let's get down the hill here. Take some pot shots at this goblin. Well, there you go. Guess I'm gonna have to try harder. I guess you are. All right. Should be able to take this marshal or the gladiator. Sorry. The weird thing is that the first time I saw the gladiator. In the episode way back, we were defending that base. I thought it was the uh, the, the seventy five ton heavy mech, the brawler. He's running. He left his friggin' wingman out to dry here. Oof! No chances to hit though. See what we can do here. Could shoot in that guy's backside, but I think we're going to take the chance to hit here. Going to go after this, and I think we're going to attempt to leg this guy. Oh, that was nice. He is most definitely going to be moving slowly now. Can we not get a... Oh, we can from right here. You're the man, Goof. It's all up to you. Ho oh, oh. ho. Nice hits. What's up, Commander? Hey, let's see what this baby can Whatever you do, don't miss. A uh, pretty good chance to hit. Let's just shoot this guy. See ya. <laughs> and the damage just keeps on coming. Enemy detected. You can slice it, you can dice it, and the damage just keeps on coming. I'm listening. All right, let's shoot at this guy and then move back up the hill. Let's get the rack on. Let's go full out. Why not? Oh, good shooting though. I'm guessing you didn't like that thing. I don't think he did. Actually, let's get up into... Well, he's going to be able to see us anyway. Let's just move over to here. 
angle so he can't get behind us. I mean, we should be using the rack on the marshal, but if we can pull out this goblin fast enough, we got four guys over here, so we should be good. So yeah, we got that the escort mission at three skulls. Boy, I would love to have taken that, but I think it's smart not to because it's just gonna we're just gonna end up in just a lot of pain. I can't choose the head. Weird. Don't know why I can't choose the head. It's bizarre. Yeah, I don't know. Offensive push, this guy, thank you. Wait, what? Offensive push, this guy. Wow, that's so weird. I had to hit tab. Okay, well. Well, one hit. I want this guy gone. Please just get rid of him for me. We got bigger missions to fry. You're a killer? You kill him. Here it comes. Well, he's unsteady. Just shoot at him, please. Shoot the kill. I have a good about this. There goes the leg. Guardian ECM destroyed. Beautiful. Yeah. Where'd that goblin go? Cheeky little bastard. There he is. Oh, we're jammed. Oh well, fire. One laser hit, huh? Oh, the AMS hit with three of the missiles. Beautiful. Isn't that wonderful? Get your shot in now. That rack's going to be unjammed in a second. This guy has like no armor left. It is the gladiator frame. It's like totally the gladiator frame. Full throttle. Huh. Interesting. See if we can get that leg. Engaging target. He bailed. Beautiful. Beautiful. Why don't you come over here and steal Hellion's kill? All right. Copy that, Commander. Beautiful. She's probably PO'd. Her rack's on jam now. One more for the rubbish. Mission successful. All right, 204,000. Let's see how much we got to pay out, though. That's what I'm interested in seeing. Good XP, though. Look at that. Beautiful. Um... I think we just take the two gladiator parts. I can't remember if we have one or two. Although this core would be really nice. I think we have two gladiator parts, if I'm not mistaken. Do you know what Thought did, right? Thought he farted, but he crapped himself. Um, we have a griffin anyway. So let's grab that. I want to grab this 275 core. I'm pretty sure we've got two... Uh, gladiator parts. Well, we do. <laughs> Beautiful. Snub-nose PPC. We should get this thing into battle, I think. It's got damage fall-off, but still, for if you get a, you know, on a mech that's going to be in close, it's going to be nice. Ah, oh, more LRM Artemis ammo. Beautiful. Okay, 12,000. 
not bad three days for the repairs i think the apollo didn't take any damage am i correct correct beautiful so mech bay let's get that apollo going um get a quick refit on this guy so we can go ahead and uh um jump straight into another contract here so now we have to remove that artemis and move the ecm down because uh the new one is actually two tons and two slots right which is the reason why i have to re rethink how this is going to be laid out so we're going to pull the zeus off uh and the swarm ammo and the regular ammo i think we'll leave the dead fire because there's sometimes we're in close so we'll leave that on and then let's go to um i'm gonna keep the ranged sensors on uh ammo lrm artemis let's drop three tons in because if we're going to be at ranged or just doing ranged fighting that would be nice to have now i want to also look at maybe putting in the uh xl gyro it's going to add a bit yeah that's probably going to be good we got our clan heatsink kit in here now i think we've got got two clan double heat sinks all right actually put one in the leg here put one in this torso then we can go ahead and bring down uh, i'm just thinking about heat here clan er medium laser we're a little over and then we can go to patchwork materials drop that in and then drop a little bit of armor on the back because we don't intend to be uh, getting in too close like that that's five days beautiful our pilots will be back by then let's confirm this I think this is probably going to be a good loadout for this mech the three LRMs and a ER medium let's confirm that and let's have a look at because i don't think yeah it's not the hell spawn i think we can switch out now to we have artemis 2 in here right plus one accuracy now the artemis 3 yeah it gives them it gives us evasion ignore so our, our uh, srm streaks going to be even better off on this thing and i wonder we've used yeah well, never mind i was just thinking we used the um the uh oh we can't put it on here anyway. i was thinking we we use the um streak four on another mech i was thinking we could put that in here too but you know there's no point um okay that's it for this guy i think let's confirm beautiful let's get our mechs back and our pilots back so manage our tasks a bit better here let's bring you down so we're back in six days not bad i think our pilots are back in six as well yeah because hellion can't raise up her uh actually you know what i want to try something here um so i'm interested to see if this works oh we gotta wait for her to come back anyway never, never mind wait for her to get back in here hey boss, we've just those oh yes thank you thank you very much engineering we'll be oh on, Ooh, so this gives us what this gives us one more mech right one additional mech Let's purchase this. It's seven days till it comes back. So I'm not going to worry about the other mech for now. Uh, I mean, we could wait and go with six, but I think right now we don't need to do that. So let's get our mechs back and our pilots back. It's beautiful. Um, we got time, right? So um, Let's pull this mission off and then we'll decide if we're moving the Griffin forward or if we're moving the Gladiator forward. Uh, the Gladiator is, where are we here? The 5R, um, five jump jets. Huh. Four laser, three missile three support and lots of jump jets where is the other one griffin gladiator we yeah we did have uh oh this is the three r so we want the five r 
right? I'm assuming that's going to be better than the 3R, most likely. Okay. Uh, anyway, that we can figure out whether we're going to do that one, or I think we'll probably do the Griffin. Um, but let's jump into another battle right away here. We can worry about that between episodes, and we'll have it back up and running. So we wanted to do, uh, where is it, hold the line? So let's go ahead and do this. Full salvage. And let's bring the Centurion down again. And let's go, oh, uh, before we do this, I wanted to try something here. We've already wasted points on her. We might as well waste some more. What are we doing here? Barracks. I want to see if adding I'm two does anything. Training confirmed, Commander. Five guts. Okay, it says five. I'm hoping that works. Uh, let's go to the missions and take this because the last time we, we played through the mission and came back and she didn't have those points so I don't know I don't know what the heck was going on yeah I think it was a good good choice to sell that 75 tonner okay here we go defend this installation should have no problem I think Looks like we got a hunchback out there. We still have one hunchback part left over, so, you know, if we can get some parts from that, that'll be nice. The weird thing is, is I'm not looking, I don't look at those mechs now as something that we can assemble and use. I look at them as something we can assemble and just, just trash and sell. Strangely enough, which is kind of sad though. So what do we got here? Firestarter OD, which we have parts of. A Talos. Hunchback 4H. Which is the, that's the AC-10 version, I think. Archer, oh, nice. And Myrmidon, what else we got up here? Valiant, okay. This should be interesting. I'm receiving you. All right, we need to hard push these guys and take as many of them down as we can. As early as we can. It's a back shot in the art, wow. Right, I forgot. <sighs> Immunity. Damn. Maybe we just reserve. So, I remember, if I remember this base correctly, uh, these guys attack from here. Then when the reinforcements come, we have a lance up here, and they drop a lance way back here. That kind of wakes its way down this little uh, defilade here. Um, let's, uh, let's reserve. I hate doing that because it's going to sacrifice initiative next turn, but I would rather have uh, a good shot on turn one. Made the mistake of moving forward because I forgot about that. Griffin 2N, okay. Locust. A Q, okay, something is shot on their side. Just going to reserve. I know it's going to hurt us in the long run, but we've got to do it. So there's five engineer APCs, which is nice to have those extra mechs or those extra vehicles. Uh, let's reserve. I'm giving them first shot because these guys are like, like, you're not going to be hitting these guys on turn one. And look at the evasion on this, like a what, 10 chevrons? 5, 10 chevrons, yeah, no, 12, no, 10, yeah, 10 chevrons. Grand Summoner, okay, cool. It's nice to have those guys on our side. The more big beefy mechs, the better, give them a target to shoot for. Yeah, so it's either going to, uh, most likely it'll be the Griffin that we bring forward, I think, for the next mech. I was thinking, the, well, the Kit Fox is still, I mean, I guess it really depends on what kind of sea bills we can we can generate uh, before the end of the month, because you figure we'll bring the Griffin forward depending on how damaged it is. 
Like hopefully the core is intact um, and the light engine is intact. And if it isn't, then it's going to cost, you know, a crap ton of C-bills to get it up and running. Like probably 600 and something thousand. And if we put a Clan XL engine in, it would be 1.6 million. We've got two Clan XL engines we can use, but the cost of putting them in right now is just so prohibitive, right? So if we bring the Kit Fox forward, right, we're, that's a lot lighter on armor and weapons, but it's like almost instantaneously in the battle. Oh, beautiful. You'll be in there next turn. Right, we can get that in the battle pretty quickly. Now, that being said, beautiful, kill that fire starter. We do have two fire starter pieces. We have an OD piece, we have one of those pieces, and an another piece from another fire starter. Pretty sure we didn't sell them. Uh, so we got two fire starter pieces. Now, my, my question is the OD here, this is a 45 ton mech. I don't know if the other one's 45 tons. So we do have an option to get another mech which we can sell uh, here, plus the hunchback. If we can get two hunchback parts, we'll have another hunchback we can put together and sell. Uh, that's an option as well. Because we've already got one plus one extra piece. So uh, that's an option. So now we can start. Yeah. Where are you? You're here. Infiltrator. He's an infiltrator. So we're going to get up here. We're going to target this uh, fire starter OD. And see if we can start pulling this guy out of the game. Beautiful. Right now in my head, the targeting is this fire starter. Get rid of him. He's close. He's almost dead. Finish him off. Go after the, uh, where are you? The hunchback. If we can kill him, that would be great because he's got the AC-10. Then the archer. Those are my three targets. <coughs> Whether it plays out that way, of course, is a completely different story. Uh, why can't you move? Are you, you're pinned probably because of the guy in front of you. Or are you standing on a building? I think you're standing on a building. Are you? Nope, that didn't work. <sighs> I don't want to restart this. I really don't. We'll see how it goes. If I can knock that building out, or maybe something else knocks the building out and I can move, I don't know. I don't think I'm standing on the building. I think I'm just pinned between the building and the wall. And maybe if that guy in front of me moves, this guy here, the griffin? I think I might be able to get out along this way, maybe? Or am I standing in a building? I'm in a building. Maybe that's why I can't move. Um, okay. Receiving. Let's get you out of there. Yeah, see, already we have a better chance to hit. Indirect is still lousy. Uh, yeah, we'll take the shot in the hunchback. Nicely done. That's a significant number of hits. I think that was the uh, streak that hit, though. Okay, health spawn can still go. Who do we have left? Just it's just a health spawn. What's the plan? Plan is for you to get up into battle, buddy. But since you can't hit anybody, let's just go along the road. 
actually you know what let's not get on the road let's end up in the trees down here let's leave the vehicle as a place to go you know the name of the game fire maneuver here it comes This is going to get tricky when the next two uh, lances show up. I don't know if we got the juice to do this. Depending on what shows up, I guess. If they just dis up and decide to target buildings, we're screwed. Okay, Valiant's only 30 tons, so not too bad. Kaylee Lou Dallas, we know who we want. Hammer him. Let's use the barrage on him. Beautiful. It looks far more destructive than it... Uh, why can't you move? Oh, you can. That's bizarre. Okay, nice. What is up with the color scheme on that guy? This is like three weird color choices. I mean, I don't mind the colors individually, but together they just look ridiculous. I know it's Clan Wolf, but come on, guys. Like, use crimson red. Like, this is a regular red and a yellow, but the, the that green paint stripe down there and the faded red, come on. It's kind of like a rosy color. just doesn't work together. Come on, guys. Let's move. Let's get these turrets online. Now my question is, I'm almost tempted to, to ground attack the buildings <laughs> with the arrow system to see if I can blow that building up to free my mech. It's a ridiculous thing to say, but I don't know if that's one of the buildings that we have to save. Four must survive, eight remain. I think it probably is. No, it's not saying it's not. These are the ones back here. What do we got back here? Oh, another griffin. Don't jump on your own damn building, you... I'll just jump and crush the building that we're supposed to be defending, because... <laughs> I don't think he can, but, you know, I'm just monkeying around. Okay, another griffin over here. At least they're in position to handle the new guys coming in. I like the idea of you moving up, but I don't like the idea of you being yes, Commander. completely in the open like that. Getting the trees up here. Let's go on the locust and see if we can pull it down. It's not a good chance to hit, but as good a chance to hit with the streaks as the other, other mech, but they all hit anyway. Beautiful, look at that. that hit good. He's gone. Yes. Now we just have to stay away from the turrets shooting us. Don't get close to the enemy mechs. Don't stand in front of the turrets. <laughs> Make sure you stay back. Well, we got a PPC on our side. Max on fire. At least we got a good selection of salvage here. If we can manage to hold these guys off, there's a good chance we can pick up some half decent salvage from this. Like I said, I don't know. If we can get 
three parts of an Omni mech, totally worth it. But if we can't get three parts of an Omni mech, then you know, gear. Maybe that fire started to sell. I don't know. Be nice to have three parts of the archer, but we can make do with the uh, Apollo for now. Okay, let's get up here and see if we can hit this uh, hunchback again. Eh. You see in an SRM six, huh? Well, let's fire on him. Better chance to hit. We'll we'll take it. Okay, not bad. It's probably most of the streak. Hunchback's still pretty robust. For a while, for the starting armor, he's still pretty robust. Oh, nice hits. Oh, because I can't, I haven't turned. Oh god, we better confirm it with everything. Nope. Won't hit this building no matter what I do. Maybe if I right click on it. No, right click just selects the building. I don't know. It's giving me chances to hit, so it's not letting me select it. I guess because it's like a technically an allied building. Hunchback, please. Hmm. Talos, please. Switching targets, I know, but... Much better chances to hit, so we're going to go for it. Alright, buddy, fire and maneuver. Oof, we don't quite have enough, eh? Have no doubt, it, will it will be, be done. done. What do we got back here? There's the archer. They got two archers here. Jesus. I'm loading a full salvo. Nothing for streaks, huh? Okay. Alright. How much I can do about that? Yeah. Usually it's at the end of this turn the enemy shows up, so... 12.23... 30%. Same on that guy. Well, a little better on this guy. Let's see if we can kill this vehicle. I don't know if we can, but... Beautiful. One for the scrappy. Beautiful. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Oh shit, we're in front of the turret. I uh, maybe he'll fire over us. And maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Alright, let's fire at this guy. Good angle. Fire it. K2 hits, beautiful. Panicking him, beautiful. Let's make him bail. I think Goopy's gonna end up getting targeted by the archers.
Well, the one thing, I mean, at least we're not being, at least we're not stuck on a hill. It's in a building. So if someone decides to do an AOE attack on us, like with LRMs or something like that, and if they blow up the building, at least we'll be able to get out and move. Sure. I should arrow barrage the area though. <sighs> come on, come within range. Okay, nice hits. Ooh, multi-target, eh? Beautiful. Oh yeah, keep him panicked. We need him to bail out. Who else do we have? The Griffins have got SRM sixes, so they're they're not going to be able to help. I think those are the Valiant for PPC and double Valiants. You'd almost want to go if you're going to go with the Valiants. You almost want to go with large large uh, pulse lasers, and the Valiants, because you're doing splash damage with pinpoint damage. At least if you go with the uh, the Valiants and the uh, Pulses, it's all Splash. wonder if these Pirates are like trying to attempt to target the buildings, but because they can't get close to target the buildings, they're like not doing anything. I don't know. They should almost have a dedicated movement path. So they should try and penetrate the defenses. So like you have in a uh, convoy mission when you activate the convoy and the convoy is driving along a road. These guys should have something similar where their their motion path is from here, you know, along over to here, down to here, and then into the base. Because you'd kind of want them to like be heading straight towards the base. My only fear now is that this round eight is just ending. We're, they're going to have their reinforcements. I mean, we pulled three of them down already, but three or two? Two. Right? Firestarter, the Locust. Oh, and the vehicle, right? There's three of them, yeah. At least we've got lots of defenders. The good thing is that they do show up. Our defenders will at least turn to engage, hopefully. That griffin can't move either, probably. Although he jumped there, I think, originally, didn't he? Maybe these guys are waiting for reinforcements. We can't go anywhere. I don't know if this griffin's going to move. I think I, I don't even think if he moves it's going to matter. I don't think we can get out of there even if, he, even if he does move. He might be in the same boat we're in. But at least we're, you know, a stationary rack turret. <laughs> the other thing too is you can just say that uh, um, we're out of quote unquote gas. We can't <laughs> We just had to drop it down and station, put her stationary there because we ran out of fuel. Sure, even though there's supposed to be a fusion core. Uh, we got to get, uh, what's his name? Doc Brown in here. Change that core around, the flux capacitor core. Rather than work, working on nuclear fuel, it should be biofuel. Chop up a few of these trees, jam it in there, let's get going. Find some banana peels in the garbage. In case you don't know what I'm referencing, it's Back to the Future. Uh, probably one of the probably one of the better movies of the 1980s. It's a it's a classic. Of course you do.
So maybe it's only two lances. So we got a dropship that just dropped some guys here. Got a crab, urban mech, urban mech. And I think, well, maybe that's it. There's usually guys up here, though. Can't spot anybody. All right, let's try and deal some death blows here. Uh, wow, bad chances to hit. This guy hasn't moved, so we'll take advantage of that and fire on him. Back it up. Back it up. Fire and maneuver. That's how we do. That's how we stay alive. You have order? I do. The order is to kill this guy. Apparently he's not panicking all that much anymore. Can we get behind a hill here? Can't really get away from the archers, eh? Uh, let's make it a range thing. Let's go back here. We'll try and outrange the other mechs over on the other side. Like that hunchback I'll have. Well, the AC-10 is probably in range. Not that he's actually using it, but if he was using it, he would probably be in range. This guy's almost done, though. Is it Talos? How much does that weigh? Is that like 50 tons? 50 or 65? I don't know. I don't know these things. Oh, they do have guys over here. Yep, I knew it. That looks like an urban mech though. Yeah, okay. Fire maneuver. Here it comes. Right. He's not panicking anymore though for some reason. I have no idea why, but he's not panicking. All right. You'd think he would be all that back damage he's taken. Yeesh. Okay, Gundal. We're not going to get be able to direct get blah, 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 blah. we're not going to be able to get a direct line of sight on that guy, but maybe we can hit him with enough indirect here. Wow, never mind. Okay, we can get up here and shoot him though. So let's do that. Get some distance from those guys behind us too. Make it really difficult for them to shoot us in the back. Okay, we're going to fire everything, including the barrage. Here it comes. Full on enemy. Looks like the barrage might have hit. Close enough, anyway. Alright, were you the guy that was... Were you the griffin that was near me? No. Of course you weren't. Commander. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 Crab. Wow. These guys have still got their uh, their immunity. We're just gonna entrench here. So I don't know what to expect from this side. We got an urban mech here. It might be a whole group of herbies. Chemical fire. Which would be a good thing if it is. I should I wonder if I should send Goofy archer hunting. 
I think archers are just like the hunchbacks. They got really crappy back armor. But I remember the original archers, I thought they had medium lasers in the back torsos. If I wasn't mistaken, they had like two LRM-20s. And I, maybe it was a medium laser in each arm, but I thought they had, or was it, am I thinking like the Atlas or something? But I thought it was the Archer that had two medium lasers in the back or something to keep it from being attacked from behind. Maybe it was the, maybe it was the, uh, the Atlas I was thinking of. Something had two medium lasers in the back. It was only like one mech out of all the designs had two medium lasers in the back. It's almost like you got to... <laughs> You gotta pull a mater from cars and look at your side view mirrors and shoot him as he's behind you. Yes, hit him. Thank you. Do what I couldn't. Okay, it's a pirate archer. Because of course they're pirates. Let's get some eyes on guys. That looks like another what? What is that? Something small. Maybe an Irby? I don't know. Find out in a second here. Oh, yeah! What'd you get? LT? Nice. I mean, there's really nothing in the LT. I think he loses the medium laser on one hand or something. But still, pilot hit. That looked like a leg destroyed. Yep. Going down. Oh, he's got a hatchet, too. I forgot the Valiants were melee mechs. Ooh. Painful. He's gone. <laughs> He's had it. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Alright, what is this guy? Stinger. Okay. Um, eighteen percent. Wow. Yeah, let's just walk up here. Do what we can. They're not moving in, so I'm not going to move out to get them. We're going to win this way either way. and We've got good enough salvage, so... I mean, if these guys decide to push the buildings, we could be in trouble, but I think we pulled down enough of them at this point that we're not going to have to worry too much about it. So they've got two archers back here. Hunchback's gone. The Valiant's gone. Talos is gone. So I think it's just the two archers over here. We've got the Urban and the Stinger. And we've got two Urbies and a Crab over here. There might be something else behind them, but I don't know. Commander? Doesn't matter who we shoot at, really. Oh, we'll shoot this guy's better chance to hit. Fire suppression is the key. Keep them away from us. Or suppressing fire, I guess. Not fire suppression. You're not suppressing their... <laughs> not suppressing our fires. What turrets do we have? Goss emplacement. Thunderbolt emplacement. Well, those... The crab and the two Irbies are in trouble. What's up here? Point defense. Well... At least we don't have to worry about getting hit. Sick him, Goofy. I understand. Beautiful. Tell him he's not wanted. So the Grand Summoner, I know it looks like it's a... Uh, Thunderbolt, but is that um, is that 75 or 65 tons? I thought summoners were 60 or 65. So 
70 tons. Okay, oh, it's a Grand Summoner, so, wow, that's nice, eh? Pair of LRM 15s, ATM 9, and ATM 6, pair of 5s, and a couple of ER smalls. Okay. All right. Let's have an LRM duel with this guy. Beautiful. Oh, he's got leg spiked boots? Put you in the trees up here. I know we're all clustered up, but I don't think there's anything that's got uh, like an arrow system or something like that attached to it, so we should be okay. So yeah, salvage. I mean, the fire starter should net us a well. Sh well, the the hunch hunchback. I'll take the hunchback. Two parts from that, because that'll net us two hunchbacks, which we can bring in and just scrap. Wait, did we already bring one hunchback in and scrap it? Maybe we did. It's going to be interesting to see when we get up into higher skull ratios, when we're like two lances down here and we're all heavy mechs and the enemy's all heavy mechs. These battles are going to take forever, probably. So I think I think the idea of not getting that extra um, extra dropship early is probably a good idea. When I pull off, when I do my next series, we're going to have the two separate series running side by side. Did I just hit brace? Oh my god, I did. The series, when they're running side by side though, we're not going to take those dropships until later. We're going to get one lance of each going really, really well first. Have a good chunk of sea bills in the bank. Then we'll start adding to them. Oh, he's got an LRM-30. I don't know if he's got one or two, though. I forgot about the LRM-30s. Where's our last turret here? Is it back here? No. Oh, right here. Somebody's angry. Thank you for committing suicide. Oh, those are heavy flamers. Thirty-four heat. Not gonna help you too much in this cold, but sure. You really want to use those on an arid world, that's for sure. couple of turns of those heavy flamers and that guy's not shooting for some <laughs> you just shut him down he won't be shooting for a couple of turns so I hope at some point I know I mentioned this in the past um, for mech layouts or Omni mech layouts what they should what you should they should allow you to do is like for the mech itself save different profiles so you can save like let's say we're talking with the kit fox for instance save a kit fox loadout with all energy save a kit fox loadout with like an ac and, a, and uh, uh, an lrm and then save another one with streaks and pulses or something like that a b and c and it's just saved as you know a uh, variant or an option and then when you're when you arrive at a, or if you know you're arriving at a desert planet and you want to switch to the AC LRM version um, you can click on it and it's it'll tell you it'll be a two-day changeover in X amount and it just does it you don't have to go into the mech bay and spend all the time switching stuff over right 
to to allocate what you want where it's just saved as a different template and the crew knows to go ahead and change it once you say I want template 2 for this mech and they'll switch it instantly I think that would be kind of cool because then you don't have to spend all your time in, in the mech bay trying to switch stuff around and as long as you've got the gear in storage it'll do it for you if you don't it'll just say look we don't have the equipment to do that and you don't get the option oh shit Blame that on me double clicking. I actually blame it on that turret not hitting. So I blame it on. And that turret not hitting either. What kind of defenders are you guys? Oh, we got two more up here. What's this? Looks like a blackjack, maybe? Or blackjack chassis? Catapult 3. And a blackjack, yeah. Um, things are getting hairy. I think we're good on that side. All right, take a couple shots at this guy. Yeah, his missiles are gone. Sorry, his rockets are gone. Get back here and help me engage these guys over here. Barrage is back up, beautiful. No idea what that guy is. Better chance on this guy, we'll take it. Wow, the barrage hit them all. Beautiful. Good shot in that barrage. You have I do. So that, sorry, this is CT back. That's the left. Uh, yeah. Oops. Here. Gonna flamer you again, but don't worry about it. We got heat reduction every turn. Firing. Oh, <laughs> see ya. He's, that's what you call a meltdown. Plus 360 heat. See ya. <laughs> it's a good thing you missed me. You had fire fists and everything in there. You could have done a lot of melee damage. At least this guy's the 2R. I don't I don't think he's got I think he's just the regular LRM20 version. I think if we press him with the streaks and the pulses, I, I think his the minimum range will screw him. So we might we we might just press him then and see what happens. Or maybe we should get back. I don't know. No, don't just sit there. Enough. Got a side shot up over here. We're going to take it. Oof. Not that great of a side shot, but we're going to take it and fire. Locked on There's no point in saving ammo. We got uh, 12 rounds of uh, Artemis, so we can go all day. Well, all 10 rounds anyway. At least Hellion's in a position where she can engage those guys now. Is this guy the Griffin? Okay. Two NB. Yeah, ping him up.
Dude, I'd be terrified to be you at the moment. That 20 ton stinger has got no, no business being anywhere around this battlefield. What you need is you need to put a stealth system in that thing. Ridiculously high number of jump jets. Get the engine a little bigger. I don't know what you want to put in it, but... I want to go out to this guy? Ooh, 75% to hit this guy. 85 on this guy. Are you kidding me? Wind it up. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. See ya. Took him down. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they handicapped that mech because it's just so devastating. They're just like, nope. Not like I don't I can let you move around this battle. You only get one kill this battle. Maybe two, depends on how things go. So that side I'm not too much afraid of now. They got the one uh rocket launcher guy down. Wait, is this back to me? His back's to me, I think. Maybe I will press him. Um, the what the rocket the guy rocket launcher guy spent all his rockets. This other guy I don't know what the hell he's got, but I don't. It looks like he's got a, maybe like a rifle or something on his arm. Doesn't look like a big weapon at all. I mean, it could be like an AC-10 or something, but I don't know. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. If we're able to take this guy down, we could take the archer parts and just assemble it and scrap it. That would be a good sea build net. I know it sounds crazy to assemble an archer and then scrap it, but especially with, since we want to kind of be going, like uh, getting better and better, but wh what am I going to outfit it with? I don't really <laughs> have anything to put in it. You know, I got an LRM-15 Delta, which by the way, that was a, that was a Hellion thing. She put together a LRM-15 Delta for me, but it's like what? I don't know how many tons it is, like seven tons. So I might be able to put that in there, but what else am I going to put? I don't know. I got a couple of regular LRM-15s, I think. I'll get the MRMs too, but I don't know. But then I'm going to want to put a Clown XL engine in it. It'd probably be 1.2 1 million. Or 1.4 million, I think, probably, for the 70-ton mech. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. I think it also partially depends on how big the engine is in it, the fusion core is in it, and how much it's going to cost. It's obviously cheaper on, on lighter mechs because the engines are lighter. So maybe it's the weight of the engine. Yeah, that archer. I don't know. He's moving away. We might not be able to get him. Well, we still got, what, four rounds after this one? We could probably get him. I trust Goopy to pull him down. The 45-ton health spawn is pretty durable, so... Still going to shoot, eh? Even though you're overheating? Here comes the Thunderbolts. Ah, one hit. Oh, they're inspired, are they? Let's change that. Let's change how inspired they are to uh, how dead they are. Oh, it's a dagger. Okay. Alright, firing on this guy. Wow, God, I suck. I'm receiving you. That's a back shot on the uh 
raven or the dagger sorry but I don't think I'm interested in that right now he's just working as an ECM let's just kill this guy if we can I don't think the Raven's in range for the rack though. If it is, that's a good candidate to take a uh, six rounds from a rack. Come on guys, do something. Oh, I got, oh that's the blackjack, okay. It looked kind of like a uh, a locust or something along that line. Busta nah. I should really not shoot at these guys to save the loot table, but you know. Yeah, it's you. Enjoy it. He's got a stealth system? Really? Not anymore. Sure, you couldn't direct fire him, huh? No, you got lots of missiles, so... All right, Goofy. The plan? the plan is to take down that other archer. Do you think you can do that? Well, we can't see him. Let's get up here for now. Cool off a little bit from those flamers. Still, our, we still got our rack to go yet. Most likely the urban mech is in, well, I, I know the urban mech's in range. I don't know about the, uh, the dagger back here. I might try and pot shot the dagger, see if we can get a back shot on it, but it's almost full armor, so I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. So they got what, an archer, a stinger, Three urban mechs, if I'm not mistaken, right? Because there's one up here hidden somewhere. Right, the dagger, the blackjack, and the catapult. So four, seven. I'm kind of sad they blew up that building. Wish they blew up the building I was standing next to so I could actually move, but whatever. Can't have everything. I don't know, we got, we're going to have, what, three rounds left to kill that archer? I think that might be enough for Goofy to do it. I mean, I guess we could move Gundal back over there and have him rain some learns on that thing. That Irby's in trouble. Ooh! See ya. Those ACs, man, when they hit hard. When they hit, they hit hard, that's for sure. Especially on lighter mechs. I love that sound, too. That crunchy sound of the, a the AC hitting. Oh, you're going to move in. Beauty. And yeah, tagging something. Ah, rotary's down. Alright, we're just going to fire on this guy then. Use the rotary on the dagger when he gets closer. Couple hits. Meh. Okay, rotary's unjammed. Nice. So we got our turrets left, I think, and that's probably... 
Well, they got their Irby's to move still, I think, too. I don't know if that Blackjack has moved. He might have. I think he did. They got two Irby's. We got four turrets. Well, three turrets, because one's a uh, point defense. Kind of nice having the point defense up there. I mean, we didn't have to worry about the archers, but it, it was kind of in a good spot. Yeah, there comes that guy. RLG. Man, there's so many variants of Urban Max, it's ridiculous. But I guess they're like cheap to mass produce. Fusion Core is so tiny, like, doesn't take much to build the damn thing. It's a trash can, stick a Fusion Core in it, put a, put a weapon on each arm. You're done. Or a weapon as an arm, it's not really, in a, not really on an arm. It's a weapon as an arm. Although one thing I do miss in this game is the Irby's having the 360 degree rotation for their, for their upper body. So you could be walking in one direction and firing behind you. I'm pretty sure it was 360. Like you could spin right around in that thing and fire behind you. Like that's the whole point of it, right? So you put it on a street corner. And it can handle all four angles just by rotating. You don't have to move anywhere. Yeah, he's backing up. He's like, fuck this idea. I'm going home. I'm going home. Wait, I can't leave. Oh! Did that say 63 damage? Oh, see ya. He's still going? No, he bailed. <laughs> I, was, I was like, dude, you're going to hang in there, are you? Nope, he's not. He is not. Chance to hit there. Little better on this guy. The dagger's the one that's got the juicier gear, though. Well, not really. Narc launchers. Serum fours and a tag. Okay, well, what do you got? We don't know. Light Goss rifle. ER small and a tag. We'll take the better chance to hit to try and make me look good, but I suck, so don't matter. Don't matter. I'm going to miss anyway. Let's get over here, out of, the way, out of the way of the rack. Yes, Commander. All right, let's chase this chicken shit down. Briefing. This guy hasn't fired at all this battle. Not sure what's up with that, but uh, here you go. Oh wait, what do we got here? Let's see what we can do with this. Yeah, I don't know. Never mind, we did well we did really well with that. There goes the torso. At least we don't have to worry about him uh retaliating with that whole side anyway. He's going to turn and fire LRMs at us. We don't have to worry about it. Although I didn't see an LRM getting destroyed in that, that list there. So he may not have LRMs. LRMs. Although it is the R, the 2R or whatever it is. I'm assuming, I, I thought for sure that's what he had. What's up, Commander? Let's get you in a position. Up here. No problem. And let's smoke this guy. We can. Let's put the barrage on him again. Oops. There it comes. I'm gonna give him the big bubble. See ya. I hope we can salvage that. Who cares? It's an Irby. Somebody's engaging in sub warfare. Somebody's engaging in sub warfare. Beware. A little bit of mob deep. Clan comes in. Clan comes in equipped with wolf. With I uh, can't even remember the lyrics now. It's been so long. Mob deep, man. Whatever happened to that guy? Is he still recording? No idea. Um. Yeah, let's just get up here. Roger. 
Let's open up on them. Whoa, both largest missed, eh? Wow, they had good chances to hit, too. We're going to have, once we fire the racks off, we're going to have two more turns. Goofy should be able to pull the archer down. This dagger, well, it depends on how well we hit him with the rack, but we should be able to pull him down. And these guys over here, who cares? I should be going after the catapult three, but it would just take too long to get up there and try and pull him down. I'm better off killing the guys that I can. Hopefully get some gear off these guys. Get their, I want to get their cores into the... Uh, the loot table. Hopefully we can get some cores here so I can blow both sides off of them and just leave the core. That would be nice. I remember the lyrics now. The mob comes equipped for warfare beware. That was what it was. What a, a weird thing is too that I I didn't get introduced to uh, uh, Mob Deep until after um, I heard uh, Shook Ones, which was a uh, a um, um, a jungle track based off that. Come on. I think I actually may have that on my my like list. Maybe. It might be if you check my channel on the on the like liked videos, it actually might be there. It's one of my it just the, the beat, everything about that track is just just slamming. It's just great. I love that track. There's certain songs, you know, I mean, everyone's got their certain songs that they love and they just completely resonate with you. That one for me, there's a, there's a, I, I don't know, I must have like hundreds of them that I love like that. That it's just a track that you can listen to over and over and over again. You know, and then you wait, you listen to it a year later and it's still just as good as the time you heard it before. You know? Everybody's got music that they love and they got those tracks that they can listen to forever. I know most of the people that listen to uh, hard rock, even guys that listen to heavy metal, especially from the 80s, because I got to say the 80s was probably one of the best. For me, the late 80s, early 90s was the best time for music. It was the, I went from hard rock to heavy metal to industrial and then into techno and then jungle and everything else followed after that. Um, and then I got into hip hop and everything after that. After Jungle and stuff, it was like they used so many um, uh, hooks and stuff from um, this guy's toast from uh, hip hop that I got into hip hop after that too. Oh, he's still going. Well, he's not having a good day anyway. Well, that guy's dead. He stole my kill. <laughs> Those two guys back there, <laughs> the blackjack and the catapult are trying to get the hell out of here. He's still going. He's got the Goss rifle still. Knocked down though. It's even worse for him now because the Goss turret is going to tee up on his CT probably. I don't know why though. I, I find a lot of the times the turrets will like do like call shot to arms and stuff. Oh, Irby's still going. I'm trying to fight back. Dude, you know you're not leaving. Just bail out. See ya. Yeah, see, call shot left arm. He blew right through the center torso. Oof. See ya. Now we're horribly out of position to do anything. Well, let's just get up here. Go steal the Irby kill on them. Can you get him?
No, not enough. Only one this streak's hit. Is he going down? He is. Okay, well, we got Gundal still. Get them with the Lerms. See ya. <laughs> what does this say in an attack like this where you've got, like, that crab, you've got two archers, an herb, or a, uh, what do you call it, a, um, a hunchback, you know, a Talos, you have all these mechs, and the only one that takes a building down is a freaking urban mech. It's like, what does it say? Ah, oh, man, whatever. Whatever. We might be able to kill that catapult. We got one turn left. Oh. Okay, the Irby's gone. I wonder if we can get uh, Gundal in range. They're swarming now. It's like, let's get this guy. Oh, he's running away. Oh, no, he's coming down from the hill now. That's where he's coming from. Yeah, this guy's stuck just like I am. Although, I think he's got, I think he's got jump jets, so I don't know why he's not moving. Maybe it's because he's permanently stuck in a building. Or, I don't know, maybe it's like a, a non-space. So doesn't even recognize it as being a space that he can occupy, so that's why he's not moving. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. I'll be happy with one hit. Nope. That's alright. You'd have to get lucky to get one hit. It's either going to be you, or it's going to be uh, Goofy that gets a shot on that guy. Oh, now he moves. Now he moves. Commander. No, I can't move anyway. Don't matter. Mm -hmm. He sat there the whole damn battle until it's like this one guy left. He's like, oh yeah, no, I guess I better get out and do something now. So at least the higher-ups know I was out in the com in combat. Got to get some dirt on my mech so that they know I was fighting. It's like, come on, really? You, you couldn't get in there earlier at all? We got a Thunderbolt turret coming down on this guy, too. He didn't do anything. He just stood there. Stood there. This is it, guys. Last round. Can we get on this guy? No. This was a tur this was a turkey shoot. They just walked into death. Comes all those missiles. Wow, we got them all. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, let's see what we got. Ten. Well, we didn't get all the buildings, but twenty, thirty, forty percent increase. Two hundred fifty-nine thousand. It took almost no damage on this one. Now Goofy did take a little bit of damage because I moved him in, but that is kind of his job. Now we could take three archer parts and sell it. Um, we could take six walls. <laughs> so many archer parts. Catapult 2C or R2, sorry. 13 missile hard points. How are you going to put 13 missiles on, like 13 launchers on a friggin... 55 ton mech. Answer is you're not. Okay, God, there's so much good stuff here. Heavy MRM 30s. Are you kidding me? Who was wielding these things that never got to use them? Was it one of the archers? I mean, really? If somebody had closed with these things, oh my god, the damage. Heat 30, tonnage 10. I should take two of these and put them on that Apollo somehow. Plasma! Exclamation mark. 
50% damage bonus against overheating targets, 25 damage. 20 heat, 6 tons. Definitely a, uh, <laughs> it's definitely a, uh, a pirate weapon. 60% maximum heat multiplier. Oh, plus 20 heat per turn, wow. Wow. Uh, RE medium lasers, rockets, SRM2 streak, 10 damage? How is it 10 damage? How is it 10 damage? It's supposed to be 6, isn't it? Am I, am I wrong? I thought it was supposed to be 6. Ultra light rotary rifle. 20 times 3 damage. 4. Recoil of 3. Minus 30% damage dealt to armor. That's bizarre. Uses periphery rifle ammo. R20, what's the difference between R12 and R24? This one's a little less effective. It looks that way. Yeah, a little less effective, I guess. But I don't know why the 24 is less effective than the 12, but whatever. Oh, three case two. Look at that. Uh, okay, cores. Ex another exchanger, which would be nice. They're so rare now. Gunnery support B, taking that. Um, hatchet version four. Hmm. Hardened feral fibrous. 50% armor points, 40% armament, armor weight. So the weight goes up. Immune to through armor critical hits. Self-repair systems repair damage each turn. Repairs 15 armor in installed location. Repairs 5 structure in installed location. 14 fixed slots reserved. What the hell does that even do? Case 2 reduces internal explosion damage. So it is case 2 as well. It's just, I guess, hardening to one position? So if you're trying to protect, like let's say you've got a lot of ammo, you're trying to protect the ammo? But why is it 14 fixed slots reserved? That's an interesting little piece of tech there. Um, oh my god, there's so much good stuff down here. Oh, I can't say no to this either. Or this. I guess I can say no to that. All right. Um, no prototype double heatsink core or engine, that is, or kit. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. Exchangers. Oh my God! There's so much good stuff here. Base defense missions, man. Uh, God. All right, where is the... We do it this way, we can't take it. There's only one hunchback part, though. So it's useless taking that. Only one fire starter part, which I think we can take because we do have another fire starter piece. I just don't know if it's the right one. 
I'm hesitant to do that and miss out on something here. Um, Talos is 50 tons. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I mean, we do have we do have MRM ammo. We could take it. Oh God, really? The potential for damage on this thing. Twenty percent jam tans chance and it's volatile. can use what? Different ammo types. Uses HMRM ammo though, so we have to take the ammo with it. So it's kind of useless. God, okay. Minus one damage, plus one accuracy. minus damage but affects area of effect damage within 40 meters of impact there's an area of effect damage of four to primary and secondary targets minus two direct fire yeesh sorry for taking so long with this guys but like there's so many things that like I could use here Um, maybe I'm better off <sighs> these are hard to come by so definitely if we want to have a good energy build we definitely need these so we've got to keep that we'll take that off and we'll take uh, which one's better though fire support archer four laser yeah four laser and four missile. It had two LRM. I thought it had two LRM twenties, two medium lasers, one in each arm, and one two medium lasers in the back. I thought that's what the original loadout for that was. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, this is the same loadout, carrying two LRM thirty and tons of flamers. So do I want LRM thirties? They're probably pirate weaponry. Although they probably sell for a lot if they get them intact so we might as well oh, I'm gonna sell it anyway because we need the sea bill so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this let's confirm this okay so we got a, we got the hunchback part excellent that's awesome valiant part ER large LRM 20 couple rockets endo steel two cores beautiful we need cores um, LRM swarm incendiary all right that's interesting and eh, arc perfect rifle ammo yeah God, all of all the good stuff we could have gotten. Okay, let's see what we got here. 14,000 repairs, which is really nothing. I think it's just the one mech, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, the Hellspawn Apollo and the Hades did take some damage. Okay, no big deal. Let's go into the mech bay, because we do have some mechs we're going to assemble now. I don't, call it, I don't consider it a hole. All right, we're going to assemble this guy. It's ready him. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. So, gladiator. I guess there's two different types of gladiators. Let's go to the medium category here just for a second. Where is the other guy? Gladiator R. Well, that's the 3R and the 5R. Right, we wanted the 5R. So, let's ready this one. Use a 3R part and confirm it. That mech you wanted is back online. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. And now we've got the Griffin which is the DS version which was the Thunderbolt large pulse laser LRM 20 launcher 
and then the other one was the 3M, which was the PPC, right? ER PPC and the LRM20 launcher. I think if anything, we want the pulse before the ER PPC since we lost our PPC capacitor. So let's go with this one. Yeah. I mean, we already assembled the other hunchback, so we don't have another set of hunchback parts, but let's assemble the Griffin. Oh God, I think we, I think we, uh, I think we assembled the other, well, 98,000, it's not that bad, I guess, but is it going to, let's, let's ready this guy instead. I'm going to save some sea bills. They're basically the same with the exception of the arm weapon, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So let's have a look at our mech base. we got to decide who we're going to keep and who we're going to trash. We are going to need sea bills um, to be able to do this, though. So the archer, what do we got left on the archer here? It is the pirate archer. So both legs were gone. So we do have, let's just do this here. LRM-30s are both gone. It does have the core, though. Pirate engine. You know, we could probably work with this. It's got the case, too, still in the torsos. We could upgrade the Apollo. We'd have plenty of weight to add tons of shit into it, too. Let's back out of here for a second. And then the Griffin. I think we lost a lot of stuff on this guy. Yeah, his whole CT is gone. LRM-20 jumps in. So this guy's scrappable. There's no way we're getting this thing into battle anytime soon. We're going to get the ERPPC, LRM-20, some jump jets, double heat sink. Like, there's nothing here. It's just, there's just nothing to work with here. It's just going to cost so much to get this up and running. So let's get rid of this guy. Sad to say. Uh, I'm going to scrap him. Not a lot, but we'll take it. Now this guy, Gladiator, let's refit him and see what we get. Cool looking. The Black Knight was always one of my favorite mechs, like looking little look wise. Although I did love the Rifleman, the Archer, the Warhammer, the Marauder, all the original mechs that were look look really awesome. Okay, so this guy doesn't have a core, but he's got a light engine, XL Gyro. He's got pretty well-rounded hard points here, too, across the board here. But honestly, I'm still thinking that this, uh, I'm still thinking the Archer is the way to go. Although, if we use the Archer as the, um, If we use the Archer as the upgrader, upgrade to the Apollo, this is 6 laser, 4 missile. This is 4 laser, 3 missile. So let's just scrap this guy. We'll leave the Apollo as is in place. We'll fix up the Archer. So we got 6 mechs now. So let's go ahead and scrap this guy. And we got mm, 700,000. We do have time before the end of the month to pull off another mission, I think, though. So we might be able to go ahead and do that. Let's just get this guy repaired. Ooh, excuse me. Let's get him repaired. Uh, let's leave this in for, well, how much do these things weigh? One ton each. 
Pirate Flamer. Pull this out. 404,000 in 12 days. Not bad. We got 30 tons remaining. I'm interested to see though. Yeah. 1.5 million. To put that in. 1.6 million to put in the XL engine. But we do have... We got LRM-20s. These are, how many, 10 tons each? We could put a couple of these guys in. Or we could go the Zeus, the pair, like this. This is, how many, this is fifth, this is seven tons, right? Yeah, so we could go two 15s and two fives and still be LRM-20s or LRM-40. Or we could strip the Apollo and rather than being an LRM boat on the Apollo, we could put the two clan LRM 15s, the LRM 15 Zeus, the LRM 15 Deadfire, or we leave the Deadfire on the Apollo, two clan 15s, and two like the Zeus 15 and the L this LRM 15 and put them on here. It's going to be this almost the same weight as the two LRM 20s. Then we need we just need to put ammo in. That's probably going to work. Up the armor a little bit. Well, I don't know if we need to up the armor a little bit. This is probably okay for now. A couple of medium lasers or something in here. Yeah, let's confirm this. All right, sorry guys, this is a long episode. But I wanted you guys to see what my decisions were here at the end. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to run this way. And between episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the lance up and running, uh, minus the archer, because it's going to take way too long, I think, to get it into play. But we're going to bring it up to the top um, to get it going on on the um, in the first mech repair bit, because we have five days to wait for, or six days, I think. Wait a minute. There's the question. Did... Uh, Hellion looks like it, she did maintain the uh, skill points this time. Or at least one of them, but we'll find out. Um, but yeah, we'll get everything up and running between episodes. Uh, so we got time before the end of the month. Now, I don't think we're going to have the ability to get the Archer running this particular month. Um, but we do have the C-Bills for our financial report, which is awesome. Um, and any repairs we need at, the, at this moment. Um, the Archer and the Apollo, most likely the Apollo will be stripping stuff off of it and we'll put different things on it and the Archer will be our new missile mech. Um, then we'll have to determine what we're going to do with the Apollo. Uh, it, if we're going to give it to, uh, um, what's his name? Ah, uh, God. Why can't I never remember his name? Sorry, Barracks. Duck. Is it Duck? Yes, Duck. If we're going to give it to him, then we got to figure out what we're going to do with it. Receive right? You. Figure out how we're going to load it out in order to take advantage of the uh, sensor. But anyway, that's that being said, um, I'm going to leave the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.